All right, guys, so we're all here at uh, Lion's Den. We got a couple rigs going through it. Not everybody, just because it'll take forever, get all jammed up, and we want to get through it. And uh, so I think Drew's going to lead the way in the X3 on 35s. I'm going to bring the Talon through, and I think Sean's going to bring his four-seater through. So you'll get a little bit of little bit of variety. But uh, this is kind of a, the gate to it. doesn't look like anything on camera. It's really not... Last time I did it, it really wasn't that bad. It's obviously very greasy at this point. Yeah. There's reference. Yeah, it's a little, yeah, it's a little dug out. You can see it's a decent ledge there. Once you get up this first ledge, you got this kind of weeps through all these massive boulders. Once you get up this first ledge, you got this kind of rock garden thing here, and you can go. I think the line is mainly that way, then turn up where Billy is. Um, Billy, I think, well, Billy, I know, is sitting this one out. If you guys didn't catch in the last video, he's got some carnage going on with his hand. We're not really sure what, because we're on a trail, not the hospital, but. <laughs> we're pretty sure it's broke. Yeah, pretty sure it's broke, like the top of the hand type deal. But it happens, you know. Some piece. That rip. In my bones. Yeah. <laughs> That happened on the waterfall. Check out the probably the video before this. No idea how these are gonna get broken up, but once you get up through here, you've got this pretty decent little ledge here. A lot of this stuff, I mean, momentum should carry us through, especially for three wheel drive. But uh, for reference, if you guys haven't been following along as we walk the trail here, the uh, the Talon has the stock I four wheel drive system. The lockers were in back order, so I didn't get to get one. And uh, it does have the i four wheel drive light on, and I don't think like the braking system was really working properly. So I don't know if it's helping me or hurting me. It's definitely not like cutting power, so I don't know. But here's the drop off. Go around this big rock, literally chest height. Yeah, that's like a good four footer for sure, at least four and a half footer. All right, stand there again. I mean, you can see it's, and it's vertical. the top to the bottom is above Billy. Like it's, yeah. it's a good six. It's I'm eye, eye height with that top rock. Yeah. yeah so <laughs> 10 foot from like the top all the way down to here. But, uh, it's, it's definitely a doozy, a doozy drop down. But then we go down into the, the actual den area. Soup bowl. I'll call it. And it's a bog down here, but I think it always is. Um, the main line, though, that most people do is in between this tree and that rock. And the wide rigs really struggle. The town maybe hopefully just fits in there, but what I'm worried about is the town's low gear is not low enough for the super gnarly stuff that we usually do. So it's like if it's something that you can't hit with a a couple mile an hour like it gets bound up and it struggles but but we'll see how it goes that's for sure i mean that's what we brought it for and through here you just kind of crawl through crawl slash bash through <laughs> just figured we'd kind of walk it and see it for ourselves before we get some rigs in here make sure there's no surprises and then I mean I feel like a lot of people are curious what the actual lines done the whole trail looks like so now you guys seen it right here's pretty spicy spot because you kind of want to it dips you down and then into that rock the town's gonna mega struggle right there yeah at least that tree's eating away a lot before that tree came out we couldn't your tire couldn't catch that it would want to slide I don't know if the town's gonna be able to crawl up that. We'll see. I'm gonna find out. Yeah, <laughs> we're about to find out. So we're gonna get in the rigs and start. Uh, I think Keep we're out. just gonna like choo choo train up it. Give give Billy a camera and Josh a camera and uh, well, let's see how it goes. Oh, <laughs> 
before the wall. section we'll see what the old drop of doom is come on don't flip into me
rain out and uncut. And you're gonna be coming off. Nice. Nice work. It didn't even come close to nosing. Hell yeah, nice work guys. I think uh, Sean's coming up next in the four-seater. I've never seen one go through here, so it should be interesting. All right, four-seater's coming down next. still is. The back is. The left rear is broken. Yeah. That one fitted? Yeah. Yeah.
Jesus. down a th uh, three-wheel drive three-wheel peel actually like two-wheel peel but we'll see if we can get them through
unfortunately, the old lawnmower has broken another rear axle. Um, kind of on the consensus here that it's probably doing similar things that the X3, my X3 was doing and overextending the CVs because we're, we're running no sway bar for the flex of all this stuff. And uh, some rigs can handle no sway bar and no limit straps. Like the YXZs are no problem. Um, but, and the Turbo S's, I don't think have issues with the axles doing that either. But obviously, not obviously, I mean, it was in a hole bound up and then it let go. So, but the one I broke last night, the driver's tire was full droop and when it let go, the wheel side CV. And now, uh, now this one was full droop, driver side in a hole, and that's when the same CV let go, the wheel side out. So. up and bump it straight though. So Billy, you watched the, uh, the Zillas with the two wheel drive talon go through there and then the sticky Mickey's thoughts. 
Still is our batter. Yeah. Come on. Come, come on back. All right, here's Jay, 35 Zillas. Clearly, school bus, four-seater cheater mobile. Guy's got no kids either. units to be going through here. But they did pretty well, all things considered. I'm pretty hyped on the talent, honestly, how, did, how good it did for having a broke rear axle and three-wheel drive, but how was it? Rough. Rough? Rough. <laughs> him over and then uh, I think that's everybody right yeah. so, pretty cool trail savage it's hard on that's for sure uh, yeah I don't know where we're headed next I do know however there's there's a handful of, of these rigs that are hitting cream puff later today so that's gonna be in a separate video so make sure you come back for that one I'm sure that'll be rowdy hopefully you guys enjoyed this lion's den video Tried to show the trail the best we could and kind of give you guys an idea if it's something you're looking to tackle. But also, don't forget, we're doing our custom splice giveaway right now. Every $10 spent on our site, link below down in the description, as well as more info, um, gets you entered to win this $350 recovery gear kit. Um, so shout out to Custom Splice for hooking us up and helping you guys out too. And uh, definitely stay tuned for the next video. It's, it's a gnarly one. I mean, we a couple of the guys hit cream puff, so... Enjoy this clip I'm going to throw in here at the end of the video as a little bit of a teaser, but definitely hit that subscribe button and come on back in about a week. Should be next Wednesday. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Oh, boy. He ain't saving that. Driver, driver, driver.